for those who are in high risk situations, we're seeing more weapons, we're seeing um, higher danger assessment scores. With an increase in gun violence and domestic violence incidents in Alberta, those working with domestic abuse say they are worried for the mental and physical well-being of the abused. Calgary Women's Emergency Shelter, now known as Fear Is Not Love, say they are seeing a significant increase in those seeking support. Especially in the last uh, probably six months, is we're seeing that the number of calls have increased significantly. Domestic violence is a serious issue in Canada and on average a woman is killed every six days by her abusive partner so this is a prevalent issue in society. Experts say domestic abuse is not limited to partners only, now it includes parents and children amongst other relationships. Domestic violence relationships are really complex and what's important is to understand the signs of a domestic violence relationship. Abuse or violence in a relationship where there should be trust and love. And so that could be, you know, in-laws, that could be siblings, as you say, it could be anyone in that family unit. Those working with people who experience domestic abuse say the most important step in curbing domestic violence is accessibility of preventative services and support at the right time, especially for children. Here at Discovery House, we do work with children who've witnessed domestic violence to help them to mitigate the impact of trauma on brain development because we know Kids who've experienced that, um, that trauma can be more susceptible to going on and experiencing domestic violence or using violence in a relationship in the future. In Calgary, Hena Said, City News.